Today we're here with Scott Ratliff, um, LSM at Loyola University, who now plays for the Boston Cannons and director of LB3 Lacrosse. Uh, can you tell us a little bit how you got recruited to play at Loyola? Yeah, I, uh, I grew up down here in Atlanta. I played at Walton High School, and uh, my, one of my coaches at Walton was an uh, alumni of Loyola and, and had played there, and he actually played there with uh, the current head coach, uh, Charlie Toomey. So um, I made a good impression on him, and, and he went up to Coach Toomey and kind of sold me over the course of my junior and senior year, and eventually they uh, they gave me that option, and I jumped on it and went up there. Okay, awesome. What is what was your favorite memory of playing there? Best highlight, I guess. Uh, I mean, pretty easy answer was definitely winning the national championship in 2012. Uh, that's pretty unique and, like, you know, the type of moment that I dreamed about my entire life. And so to get to live it and, and get that experience was really cool. That's awesome. So how has the transition been from playing at a high-level college like Loyola to the MLL? Um, you know, it was honestly probably more difficult than I would have imagined. I think any time you go up a level, whether it's high school to college or college to pros, obviously the, the level of play rises, and I expected that. But what's really difficult about it is in college you have coaches and, and a staff that's with you every single day, making sure you train, making sure you work out. And you get to the professional level, and I think this is in any sport, it really, it really falls more on you as the athlete. You have to make the decision to go train and to practice and do those things. So... Um, I think for a lot of guys, really learning how to commit to that and take care of their bodies the right way uh, is kind of the difference between becoming a successful pro or not. Uh, so what advice do you have for any of the high school kids going through the recruiting process right now? You know, the biggest piece of advice I have, and I say it to, to guys all the time, is, is to just stay focused on getting better. And the reason that I always go back to that is because of the way that my experience was where I got recruited really late uh, my senior year of high school, and it was really plays that I was making in the first two or three games of my senior season that all of a sudden kind of opened some coaches' eyes and showed them, wow, you know, this kid can definitely play at that level. So for me, the guys that get, you know, over-worried about it or too focused on it too early, um, I think you're just handicapping yourself. I think your goal as a player should just be become as good as I can possibly be. And at the end of the day, if you reach that level, you're going to get found. You're going to find a home. So, you know, for me, it was all about working hard and, and staying focused on, on what I could control. Awesome. Thank you so much for taking the time to do the interview. Yep, absolutely. Appreciate it.